Recently, I've had the opportunity to go out to the Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center to talk to their staff about buying a new kayak. As you know, I'm in the market for a new one and uh, the guys out there really know their stuff. Um, I went out there and filmed a bunch of reviews and test paddled a bunch of new kayaks. So keep watching for the review. This is the brand new Jackson Liska. The Liska is an updated version of their older CUDA series. This is a more modern version, much better upgraded and much more suited for the kayak angler. So as with all the other videos, we're gonna start at the back, we'll work our way to the front. So as you come around to the back here, you'll notice it's got a nice sturdy uh, molded hand grip here, but these four screws here is, and the way that the hull is molded is perfect for a power pole. And everything is molded perfectly in here. You've got nice uh, molded in guides for all the cables and stuff like that. Comes ready to receive your power pole. As you come back to the tank well, nice big tank well, again with all Jackson fishing kayaks, a lot of space, easy to put your kayak crate, whatever that holds all your gear and stuff. But in addition, you've got these nice eyelets, which you'll either use for your power pole or use to tie down whatever you want on here. You've also got integrated gear tracks for all your accessories uh, on the back. Like if you want to have a GoPro pole coming out of the back to get all the sweet angles. Of course, you've also got flush mount rod holders. And as you come forward, you come to the seat. Now this is a really special seat, not only because it has these nice Molly straps like you've seen on a lot of the other Ki uh, Jackson kayak seats. This seat not only can trim forward and aft, but this is also Jackson's high-low seat. So it's really easy to change whether you want it for speed and stability or whether you want it a little bit higher so it's easier to get up and do some standing and fishing or whatever you're doing it's really easy all you do you just pull out these pins this one's brand new so pins are a little stiff and you just slot your seat in to the next spot and push your pins back in. And now you've got a higher seated platform for all your sight fishing needs. Not only that, but whether it's in the low setting or the high setting, you've got lots of tackle storage underneath the seat for, you know, Plano boxes, safety kits, whatever you got, you can stick it under there. Coming forward again, you've got these nice sturdy straps for carrying it. Again, you've got bungee holders on each side of the kayak for your paddle. And in addition to the bungee holders, it's really nicely molded to receive the, uh, the shaft of your paddle. So it's gonna stay nice and sturdy no matter what you're doing. Moving forward again, you'll notice here, the decking for the Jackson Liska comes standard. So this is really good on those hot days when the deck of your boat is getting really baking in the sun and you're wearing flip-flops like I am today. You're not gonna burn your feet, but not only that, but it also dampens the sound of all your tackle and your and your movements or whatever you're doing so that you're not going to spook the fish that it may be around your your boat foot rests easily really easily adjusted you just grab the clamp on the back and move it forward or backwards up here we've got our gear track system molded in as well as well as on the sides too i forgot to mention that so lots of customization options for this now as you come forward here You'll see Jackson has this nice uh, hatch cover here. You just turn, twist the, the little knob and it opens up for even more storage. So this is really important. So you can store whatever you want in here. Fish finder batteries, you know, stuff that you need quick, easy access to. But this scupper hole right here, if you come around to the back of the kayak, as you can see here, this scupper transducer uh, hole is really you can really fit any transducer you want in there for whatever make of fish finder you have. There's a lot of space there. It's recessed up into the hull, so it's gonna be protected from weeds and rocks and whatever else you're going over. Really nice feature. And then you close that up. And of course, on top here, you've got another integrated gear track for your fish finder head unit. Coming forward, You've got a stand, a uh, stand assist strap uh, little mount here. So if you're 
need to get up in a hurry or you're somebody who has trouble getting up out of your seat like I do, grab that strap, pull yourself up. Makes it really easy to get up. So at the bow of the boat, you've got another hatch. This one opens up and you've got really nice access to the inside of the kayak. Goes all the way to the back. You can store whatever you want in here if you're going camping, doing day trips. You can keep your lunch in here, whatever you want. Lots of storage options. And in addition to that, on top of this hatch, you got these really nice bungees for uh, strapping down stuff you might need quick access to. But even more important, those bungees act as a really nice paddle holder. So if you're stopped and you're doing some fishing, you're standing up, you don't want to clip your rod onto the side. Or if you just need to stop paddling and rest for a minute, you can slip your paddle right into there. And that's really sturdy. Your paddle's not gonna go anywhere while it's in there. Coming forward, we've got a nice, another nice sturdy strap at the front of the boat for helping to move it around a lot easier. This is the one that I've had my eye on. Of all the Jackson kayaks that I've reviewed, this is the one that I'm looking at the most. There's a lot of space here. So while I'd love to have a pedal driven kayak, I'm not sure if it's the right way to go for me because I personally want to take my daughter with me out on my kayak and with the pedal drive, it doesn't really leave a lot of room for her to be able to sit on the deck or in my lap while I, you know, paddle around and do whatever. So there's lots and lots of open space here. And if you're somebody who likes to have the uh, seat all the way to the back, push that all the way and there's even more space. So as you can see, there's lots of room for you to do your activities, uh, retying lines, standing and fishing, doing whatever you're doing. Lots of really good space here. No better time to test a kayak though. Yeah, well, you'll see. <laughs> They're made to be like that. First impressions, very stable. Of course, not that I would expect anything less. So right now I've got the seat in the, in the high position. I'm gonna see how easy it is to switch it to the low position while out here on the kayak. So for a paddle kayak, I like how it tracks. So far I'm not seeing too much side to side movement that's not corrected with each paddle stroke. Not that I'm a expert paddler or anything, but you know, as a intermediate paddler, I don't find it very difficult to paddle, especially into this wind here. So I'm going to paddle out to this point. Maybe I've got this really nice bending branches angler pro paddle that uh, front neck outfitters let me, let me use for these reviews. This one retails for like $400 or something like that. That seems like a whole lot of money for just to pay for a paddle. But once you hold one of these things, you really see like this, this paddle probably weighs about, I don't know if it even weighs a pound compared to the paddle that I'm used to with its aluminum shaft. The paddle weighs probably three or four pounds. It's so feather light, incredible. So right away, like I said, super easy paddling, really comfortable to sit in this chair. These stadium seats are so, so comfortable. And you can really adjust it however you want. The straps on the side, you just pull the tabs and it goes back. So if you like a more reclined paddling position, you can do that. If you want to adjust your foot pegs, you can just reach up, bring them back, which is what I'm going to do. I didn't adjust them at all before I got in this boat. So here we go. The seat is so stable. All right, I'm going to strap this paddle down here, being very careful because I don't have a leash or anything. I don't want to lose this paddle into the water. What should I take? I'll take the jerk bait. I'm just going to have a little stand. Ooh. Very easy to get up in. This one, you can definitely see how not having a pedal drive is beneficial in terms of the space in your boat. However, while I have a lot more space, 
it is a little more tippy side to side. And I guess I'm one, I guess that's because it doesn't have that nice big, it's almost like a keel that comes down where the, uh, where the prop sits on the pedal drives. So this one is a little more tippy, but as you can see, like I'm giving it a good rock side to side and I'm feeling very confident. You know what I mean? Like I can walk, I can turn sideways, keep my footing on this. I'm facing completely sideways off my boat right now and I feel very confident. I'm just gonna turn it the other way. Of course, if you're standing on the very edge of your boat when you try and do this, you're probably gonna tip it and take a swim. But if you just center your weight in the middle of the boat where it's the most stable, it's relatively easy. I'm just gonna do a 360 right here because I have the space. I didn't really have the space in the Bite FD because the pedal drive was in the way. But right now, I can fish out the back of my boat, which is what I'm gonna do. And that's something I never could in my Pelican. I really feel very comfortable standing up in this kayak. Maybe if I was out on Lake Ontario or something like that, it might be another story. But on this small back lake, it's good to go, even with this wind. There's so much space here. If you remember some of my videos in my Pelican, like I've got my fish finder in here between my legs. I got all kinds of weird stuff going on. Like stuff is just everywhere. In this boat, there's so much storage capabilities. Uh, like my fish finder can go right there. If I really wanted to, I could get up. I could just access anything in here. Like if I needed to access, oh, look at that. Yeah, this one comes with a nice uh, Jackson water bottle and of course a rod holder as well. You know, if I need to get at anything in here, it's so easy. If I need to get at my front storage, it's I can just lean on my boat and get right in. If I'm in my Pelican, there's no way I'm gonna access that front hatch storage. It's just impossible. Not while on the water. All right, time to head back. But the last thing, like I said, I wanted to do is see how easy it is to change the high-low seats while I'm out on the water. So here we go. Oops. Pop that out. Slide the seat forward, back down. There's my little cotter pin hole here. Whoops. And I'm right in. Easy peasy. There we go. I'm probably in about six feet of water here right now. Just like that. And boom, now I'm in a lower seated pro profile, maybe a little more apt for, uh, you know, hard charging paddling. You need to get somewhere really fast. You put that seat in the low position. It just takes a minute to swap it. You paddle your however many kilometers to get where you're going. And then when you want to slow it down, you just put that paddle right back up or put the seat right back up in the top position and you're good to go. What a difference. Just that like inch or two difference gives you so much more power in your paddle stroke. So that's the Jackson Liska. Thanks for watching.